uh, hi everyone and welcome back so let's talk about set 4 of uh, objective questions and here we are talking about these objective questions where one of these we have to select as an answer so here what is the event dot target when clicking on to a button so here target will always be that dom node where you are making an action like click on key up on key down on change so here on click you are making actually on the button so target should be a button only what will be uh, when you click on to a paragraph what what's the the logged output yeah this is interesting so when you click on it we already know that there is a capturing and bubbling phase happens so when you click on it first it will print the paragraph then the event will propagate further because we are not stopping the propagation so it will pay print paragraph p tag and div tag so it should be a as an answer now coming to this so we have person object and uh, we are actually having this method say hi and we are printing this dot name and we are calling this say hi by using dot call we are overriding the context with the person object so this dot name should point to the person object which is name here okay which is this name should appear and we are doing bind so here the difference between call apply bind call and apply are actually used to override the context but bind doesn't call it bind actually gives you the new function okay so console.log function will always be undefined or a function sorry yeah it should be a function so say hi dot call it will actually replace name with this so okay uh, this would be d i think because the second one bind will create a new function it will not call it so you can see the answer is d bind returns the copy of the function okay so this type of say hi say hi we are calling say hi is returning another arrow function i mean this is a immediate invoking functional expression it is calling itself returning zero and type of uh, a number is a number so it should be b okay what is which of these values are falsy so zero is falsy and then empty quotes empty quotes with a space or undefined all these are falsy so we can see c zero empty quotes and new boolean false and undefined so answer is a okay okay sorry so because new boolean is actually an object new number is also an object so false will be zero empty quotes and undefined type of type of one so type of one will be a number which is a of type string so you are again getting type of string uh, is a string so type of one will be a number in the double quotes so type of this will be a string right okay coming to this what will be the output we are actually assigning number 10 equal to 11 but uh, our current array length is only 3 so in that particular case what uh, what javascript does it actually enters the the remaining elements as an empty so you can see 1 2 3 there are 7 empty elements then the 11th element is 11 right starting from 0th index so it should be c okay this is about a scope so we have like let x this is a iffy block so it will this code will execute itself we have let x y in try we are actually throwing an exception whenever it executes it will throw an exception so it will go to the catch block and x we are actually overriding with x is here is an exception object but here you we are overriding x equal to 1 so here console.x should be 1 and then we see console.log x here and y so in this particular scope if you see x is 1 in this local scope so x should be undefined here and y is declared here and y is equal to 2 so you should get x1 undefined and 2 now if you're trying to understand what happens in this example so you can see x is being passed and x is overriding whatever we have defined in the scope and x the value of x is limited to the try catch block okay 
if we haven't passed x in the catch block then might be x will also be available here in this global uh, in the outer scope so the value should be uh, one and defined two you can uh, we can go through the explanation also outside of catch block x is still undefined and y is two so we set the block scope variable equal to one and set the value of variable y now if we log block scope variable x then that is equal to one so this is tricky questions i found it at many places so it's one and defined two everything in javascript is either a primitive or an object i think that is correct primitives covers a string boolean number symbol object covers the array uh, or object or anything else here we are actually doing uh, reduce operations what we are doing is so we can solve it if we understand how reduce works reduce has initializer it actually concat so accumulator the value of accumulator is initially 1 and 2 and it is concating 1 and 2 with 0 and 1 so it should be 1 2 0 1 2 3 1 2 0 1 2 3 our output should be c what should be the output null is considered as a false so double negation always just convert things into the boolean so if you put uh, here empty quotes so it should be false false and true false false true it should be b so it will convert one to uh, false and it will turn out to true false false true okay what does set interval method returns in the browser okay set interval and uh, clear interval okay so a unique id console.log high set interval and actually it will actually keep executing this in each and every second right so set into what does set interval method returns in the the browser so what we are doing is a unique id because there is set interval clear interval set timeout uh, clear timeout so it should return a unique id to track it returns a unique id this id can be used to clear the interval yes so this is important set timeout or clear timeout set interval clear interval returns a unique id which also gives us so you can actually assign it to some variable and while doing a clear interval you can pass the same id okay what does this returns we are doing a spread on the string so it will actually spread the characters that should be a simple one it should be simply a okay it is an example of generators and iterator we created a generator function and we are doing yielding yield i i and yield i multiply by 2 so we are creating uh, iterable object jan by calling this generator function with 10 so it is it will yield value to two values 10 and 20 so here it should return 10 and an object it should be okay gen dot next dot value value should be first value should be i10 and then i think it should be 10 and 20 there should be no such such, such surprise because it returns an object which keeps a uh, value uh, boolean and the value so it should be c 10 and 20 what does this returns okay so here what we are doing is first promise second promise and what we are doing is so there are many concept around promises promise dot all promise dot race or promise dot all will resolve and only if all the promises are resolved promise dot race will resolve even if one of the uh, one of the two promises are resolved okay it doesn't wait for all the promises to get resolved even if one fails or one pass then also it will execute it is just wait for first success okay first promise will take 500 milliseconds okay so this is actually resolving the promise after 500 millisecond with this data and it is doing with 100 second console.log response so it should be simple too okay let's see uh, yes answer is b so when we pass multiple promise dot raise method it resolves reject the first promise okay so it is just wait for either first resolve or first reject and it will return that that is the output here this is a person object and we are actually creating members and putting this person as an index of an array then we are putting person as a null little interesting 
then we are putting members so members equal to person is now pointing to null so we put members array of person so just think about it what output can it be so person is an object we put members so here member should be an object of an array now person is pointing to a null uh, because it's a shared reference but members is now a new reference so based on my understanding it should be a d yes because you actually person is now pointing to null but the the member is actually new reference you have created which is having this object right so this is how it like this so person is pointing to this then we declare a variable members we set the first element right now both of these are pointing to this now person becomes null person start pointing to null but member is still pointing to the same object that's why we are able to see that here we have person and we are doing for in loop onto this and we are trying to print the item so simple it's a simple for in loop so item will be the the keys console.log keys which is name and age i think there is no such strange thing here so we should get name and age b correct console.log 3 plus 4 so it will concat it arithmetic operation and then it will concat it like a string so it should be 75 now this parsint uh, so parsint actually takes two argument the expression and uh, the base so 7 should be 42 simple uh, let me think about it it's an arithmetic operation so you can pass okay here i'm wrong only first argument is the string is returned so parsint you can't do a calculation or something okay wait 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 so what it is doing is you are actually passing this is a string right so parsint will treat this is a string and now when when it is parsing this into an integer it will see okay seven i'm able to identify but this is a character now so even if you do a parsint 23 abc the output will be a 23 so so similarly this is considered as a character so output should be simple seven okay so here we are doing um, map onto the array and we are just checking type of num is a number that is correct then we are just returning it so every element is of type number and if type is number then we are returning so we should get null i mean a map will always create a new array for each and every index so return we are not returning anything so it should be treated as undefined or null i mean that is for sure it should be in between b and c but are we going to get null or undefined it should be in the guess it should be undefined let's see yes undefined so when we we are not returning any value then that is considered as undefined and it will return the undefined array okay so that is set four let's talk more questions in the next video and we will also talk uh, related items of a particular questions